Hi there, Pisces. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and this is the week April 11 through April 17. The big news for you this week is that your 10th house of career and ambition and social status is about to take a little bit of a, a sleepy time, maybe hit the snooze button a couple of times because Mars, which is the planet of energy, action, stamina, passion, is going out of phase in your 10th house of career. It's going out of phase from April 17 through May 21st, so three weeks, when you're going to feel as if getting to work and doing the, the minimal amount of work is a bit of a stretch, let alone aspiring to great heights, which is a shame because Mars has been in that 10th house since March. And so many of you have really, you know, put, a, put your head down and done a lot of good work and are expecting huge rewards and feel very happy. But you may feel once Mars goes out of phase this weekend, that you are not so, um, you know, ex excited to be at work or rushing to get there or excited about all the extra work you've already said you'll take on. Maybe you're realizing that you're a bit impulsive and rash. And so while Mars is out of phase, it's a really good idea for you to, to backpedal as much as you can and streamline the things that you'll do and hopefully be able to task onto other people. Now, on May, uh, sorry, April 28, Mercury, the communicator, is going out of phase in Taurus. And this is going to affect the water and the earth signs more. It's going out of phase in your communication zone, your third house of siblings, communication, short trips. It's really important that you, you know, get whatever you need to say, if it's important, whatever you need to communicate, whether it's through email, letter, text, Facebook, you know, social media, try and, you know, really do it before April 28. You've got plenty of warning. But as you know, when Mercury goes out of phase, whatever can go wrong will go wrong is in full effect. And Mars and Mercury are both going to be out of phase together for those three weeks that Mercury's out of phase. So that's going to be a really interesting three weeks. I'm dreading it because I just know that my clients are going to come out of the woodwork and say, what is going on? So, you know, it's like uh, hibernating almost. You know, you need to stock up. And you need to get everything done that you know it requires a lot of energy. And because Mars is out of phase in your 10th house of career and ambition, I'm really thinking that it's going to be your workload and your, your dreams of uh, uh, promotion and bonuses, etc. might not be what you expect or might not even show up until Mars moves direct. And of course, Jupiter the planet of opportunity and good luck, which is going to be moving direct in Virgo, your relationship zone in July. So that's going to be a very welcome gift as well. More about Mars and Mercury retrograding next week. Have a fabulous week and I'll speak to you again soon, Pisces.